welcome everyone to another Injustice 2 mobile video and today we're going to be looking at the multiverse team basically looking at how the white canary of Sarah Lance improves the multiverse team but before we go into that I would like to welcome some new subscribers to my YouTube channel uh, and they are Spicy Lovers Duz Marwain, Siam Prasad, Tikan07, How To Justice, Jonathan Chora, Young J1645. Welcome, guys, and thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, guys, what about Captain Cold? He's a multiverse character, and Reverse Flash. Yeah, they should benefit from the multiverse passives so let's go straight into the white canary card i have her at three stars so at three stars her passive she gives 20 percent chance for multiverse teammates ability one to cost no power we'll be looking at that very closely uh, with her teammates and guys look very closely it's 20 percent base effects of twin equipment gear so not the chance effects but 20% base effect. So we're going to be looking at each uh, characters that I have in my roster where that is improved. Um, please note that when it is at five star, it will be 30% uh, chance for multiverse teammates ability one to cost no power and 30% base effect of team equipment gear um, to be added. So like I said, guys, I have her currently at level three. Um, this gold agility class hero, the white canary. I'm excited to be bringing this uh, video to you guys. Um, another interesting thing is her ability free does disable abilities. Um, so in this case, it's three seconds. So the higher you level up, the better and more time you're going to get on ability free. So guys, we're going to go straight into it. Um, we're going to go into arena and we're going to team up a multiverse team. Let's see if this multiverse team is as good as, say, the Justice League team. But we're going to be looking at how the White Canary adds to the multiverse team. So we're going to go with my five star multiverse Green Arrow, my five star uh, multiverse Supergirl, and we're going to go all the way and find the white canary at three stars so i'm going to bring you some gameplay and we're looking very closely at how these other two characters benefit from the ability one not costing uh, any power and how many times it happens during the game so guys watch out very carefully you will notice that the actual saying no power cost come up and also there's like a yellow um circle underneath that character so yeah look out very closely guys i'll leave you with the gameplay for now Okay guys, so we get the victory in that battle. 
So guys, I actually performed the ability one with um, Multiverse Green Arrow and Multiverse Supergirl five times. And those five times that I performed ability one, only one time did it give me the no cost benefit of the White Canary. So that passive does work. Because if it's 20%, 20 percent, 20 percent of 100, it's five. Five times 20 is 100. So one in five um, chance of hitting that passive and getting that uh, benefit of that ability. We're just going to swap um, and get White Canary out. And we're just going to see how that makes a difference to the Multiverse team. So out goes uh, White Canary, in goes... Uh, Multiverse The Flash. I'll leave you with the gameplay guys. Okay guys, we get the victory, uh, now we're going to swap out Multiverse Green Arrow and we're going to bring in White Canary and see how her passive improves this uh, trio of Multiverse characters. I'll leave you with the gameplay guys.
Okay guys, we get another victory. But guys, did you notice I performed ability one with the multiverse character six times and it only happened once. So guys, for me, it just doesn't happen uh, often enough. Even at 30%, it probably would have happened twice uh, in those six attempts. So for me, guys, it just doesn't happen um, on a regular basis. Uh, they should have really made that higher, especially if you want to compete against the Justice League uh, team. Now, guys, we're going to look a little bit close at this uh, base effect that she gives 20% boost to. So you can see that on the first one, it affects the defense, the health, the attack, uh, and the health. And again, on the critical attack chance. So it's when she's maxed out at five stars, it will be a 30% uh, increase on the equipment of the gear of each multiverse character. So let's go through um, the multiverse to flash. See, so 4.5 defense, 450 health, 30 attack, uh, 450 health, and 4.5 critical attack chance. So the higher the level of the gear, the more benefit you get of the White Canary's passive. Again, we'll look at multiverse uh, Supergirl, plus 9% defense, plus 250 health, plus 10 attack, plus 250 health, and finally, we have 12% critical attack chance. Guys, I really hope you like this video and that you've learned something and that you can then decide if the multiverse team is for you. Thank you so much for viewing this video and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much. Bye for now.